hello everyone welcome back to tableau tutorials in this particular video we are going to talk about the parameters in tableau so parameters are actually another way through which we can uh, accumulate the data on the basis of a particular value or a particular condition just like we did in the group the difference between the two is that in the case of the group we will best work when there is a hierarchy of data like you saw uh, if we had category and subcategory both present in the visualization then the groups worked the best we could create multiple groups and they showed us the information uh, that we wanted right but in case you don't have to work with hierarchies you don't need to create the hierarchies you just have simple uh, two values the measure names and the measure values and on the basis of that you want to create a parameter so how do we proceed with it that's what we are going to discuss in this particular video so first of all uh, what is a parameter let's just understand with the example let's just drag in subcategory and let's just drag in sales okay in the descending order arrangement has been done let's just select the entire view for a better view so here we have all the subcategory by sales i don't want all the subcategories to be visible or let's just take another parameter suppose i have the state wise sales okay so there are n number of states right total if you see there are 49 columns means there are total 49 states that have been given because state is in the columns parameter okay so there are all these states i don't want the data of all these states i am preparing a report in which i want the top 10 states to be visible to me okay so what i do in this case is i create a parameter okay and that's really simple let's just go with it create a parameter here you can just uh, come right click and okay so you have to select on which value you have to create a parameter minus state so i select state right click go to create option and there is this parameter option you can also create a group in this way but um, there are other ways also to create a group which we have discussed so that's totally your choice you can proceed with another any one which you want okay let's go with parameter now here is what it is its default name is going to be the state parameter you want to change it let's just change it to top n states okay and its data type is going to be string only this data type refers to the data type of the column on which you are creating a parameter we are creating the parameter on the state column so it's going to be string the current value is uh, alabama let's just go with it and the thing is it is giving me a list and all so what is it if you select all so all the available values that are present in the state would be selected if you just select a list so the whole values would be available right like if you want to add values so you can just go to add values from and here we can just select state so all the values from the state would be added however uh, instead of doing this we can just go with all so that would uh, make our work little bit easy now where we work with this kind of a, a list is that when we want to remove some of them like here you see the cross sign so if you let's just remove all these states with um, whose uh, let's just remove some of the random states okay uh, okay right yeah so i have removed some of the random states and there's one more thing if you want this is the original value of uh, that is florida if you want instead of florida you can just take any other value like florida and that would be uh, that is what would be shown to you in the list okay click on okay so this parameter is created that is top in states if you right click there is this option to show parameter now all these states are visible that we selected including this value florida with multiple a's so if you just select this actually nothing would happen we have to bring this parameter into the filters um okay we can just bring it into the colors part 
and it's not working okay so uh, what we can do is uh, instead of creating it on the states if we want we can create it um, on some other values as well right suppose we bring this state into the filters category and here we can just select uh, a custom value list or uh, use all so yeah the states won't work this way however if you want to work with these things uh, this kind of a way let's just understand the other way let's just bring in the same values that's state and the sales values right uh, arrange them in the descending order and now let's see how it works so for the second method what we are going to do is drag the state into the filters pane go to top uh, select on by field and here we have to just select this create new parameter right now let's just go with top n states by sales okay uh, the current value let's just keep it as 10 because we want the top 10 states and here keep all the options as default select this as range uh, minimum is one the maximum should be the maximum number of states that are available to us and that's 49 okay and click on ok now we can click on ok from here as well now you can see uh, automatically it's uh, visible right uh, we can just delete this uh, filter that we had already and this is the parameter uh, that's working for us now if you just click on show parameter so this kind of a slider is present with the current value as 10 because the top 10 states by sales are being shown to us if you want uh, to change its values you can just change it like uh, you can just go all the way to 49 or you can just even uh, lower the sum to like 3 4 or whatever values you want right uh, if you want to use the box you can just click on this option that's the type in option here you can provide any value suppose let me just uh, provide 700 that's a really big value that was not present uh, in our visualization that's why it has automatically changed it to 49 that's the beauty of tableau let me just go with top four values so the top four values of the states are being shown to me okay so just as we created a top filter on the states let's create a bottom uh, one two so let's just remove that and again bring this state into the filters parameter go to top here by field instead of top let's just select bottom uh, create a new parameter and that's going to be bottom in states by sales okay the current value let's keep 10 and all these things are going to be same but the maximum value is going to be 49 click on ok click on apply and again click on ok right so as soon as we do that we are getting the states with bottom values let's just change its arrangement for a better understanding now uh, the top parameter is shown over here right what we can do is we can just right click on this parameter click on show parameter and we can just remove the uh, top parameter only the bottom parameter is shown to us so this is what we are getting over here that's how the parameter works that's how it controls these things suppose you don't add it into the filters criteria you just bring it into the colors criteria right so all these 15 states would be colored in the particular manner because you see no uh, changes would be shown to you unless you get the states somewhere let's just get into the colors so the colors won't work because these are the individual values so uh, this is actually a problem that is the colors are not working we might want to get a situation in which we want that right now our parameter value is what at bottom eight so we want the bottom eight states in a particular color and the remaining 41 states in another color right so this kind of a situation might arise and there is luckily a solution that we got for this exact kind of situation in tableau which we are going to discuss in the next video that is all for this one and uh, thanks for watching